So um, I started the simulation this morning, I totally forgot it was running and uh, came back like 10 hours later and the result is pretty damn crazy. Before we get started, this video is sponsored by Audible. Stick around to the end of the video to hear more about it and also for a little surprise. So a while ago I saw this really cool video from CodeBullet about an AI learning to walk by itself which I found super fascinating. Now I have an obsession with stickmen and physics so it got me thinking would it be possible for an AI stickman to learn to walk or run like a human by itself. I think the biggest challenge here will be for the stickman to balance itself. I mean not to take away from Mr. CodeBullet or anything but let's be real here boys. That's just a box with legs, and it's a known fact that boxes with legs don't need a whole lot of balance. So since we're working with a sloppy ragdoll here and not a box, we need to make it balance well so it doesn't fall over, which might be a bit tough to get working. But hey, like Abraham Lincoln once said, if it's tough to get it working, uh, just get it working, you dumbass. So first things first, let's make a Stickman Ragdoll. I'm currently working on a Stickman game, which I'm still taking a break from, so I have a bit of experience with making Stickman already. And so I put together one really quickly and of course gave him a cute little face. Let's call him Billy. Now Billy is currently lobotomized, so we need to give him a brain, and this is where the neural network comes into play. Basically a neural network is a very simple artificial brain. This means we can give this simple brain to Billy and he can use it to learn to walk. Well, at least that's the plan. This is great because then Billy will teach himself to do it so I don't have to do it because duh, I'm not a teacher, I don't have time to teach someone to walk, come on. So let's make his brain. For starters, in order for Billy to balance, he needs some information. Now we're gonna tell him the rotation of his torso and his legs as well as the speed they're moving at. He can't see or feel anything so it's kind of like having your eyes closed and having some weird dude whisper a bunch of numbers into your ears and based on that information you have to learn to walk. Yeah, it's not easy being Billy. And we're also gonna give him a rule. The further you get, the more points you receive. And if you get a good score, you get to live. But if you get a bad score, you f***ing die. Anyway, we'll be running the simulation with 20 different Billies, but only show the best one, so it's not such a mess. But before we go any further, let's spice up the graphics a bit, because it looks kind of stale at the moment. So first I added some ground and grass, because ground and grass is pretty tight. Then I made a little sign and placed it into the world, and my goal is to make Billy run 50 meters within 15 seconds without falling over. And even I can't do that in real life, so it would be pretty impressive if Billy could. So is it even possible? Well, this is only one way to find out. I also made a new ragdoll, because the old one was very square. Someone probably told him to be there or be square and he wasn't there so he'd be square and it do be like that sometimes. And he's quite a bit shorter as well which is done intentionally because it's easier to balance a short boy as opposed to a long boy because of center of mass and all that science stuff, I don't know. And here you can see the new and improved Billy in action. He's more flexible, he's more handsome, he's still dumb but that's fine. Eventually he figured out that twerking is a good way to move forward and I mean he's, he's not wrong. But okay, so the playfield is ready, we got our sick new graphics and our sick new Billy, and the only thing missing now is to make Billy's brain bigger. But before we make Billy smarter, let's just run the simulation right now and see what happens. So Billy starts off strong with a juicy faceplant, the next generation he figured out he was just gonna sit down and wobble forward. And after 100 generations, apparently wiping your ass along the floor is Billy's winning strategy. But he can't even make it past 15 meters, so we're gonna have to put Billy to sleep. So the main problem we encountered here is Billy is not punished for shoving his face or ass into the dirt. And so we're gonna give him one very simple rule. If you touch the ground with anything other than your feet, you die. Hopefully this should prevent him from sitting down. It definitely would prevent me from sitting down. Actually, I would gladly sit down instantly. Anyway, let's run the simulation and see how Billy will adapt to overcome this challenge. At first, there's no real difference other than the fact that he dies when falling over, but he quickly learns that by falling forward and eating grass and instead of falling backwards and eating grass, he can get more distance. Okay. 
And fast forward 23 generations and, and would you look at that, Billy now has some sort of walk. So I sped up the simulation even more and here is the result of generation 175. It's actually pretty good, but it's not really a proper walk or run because he's just kind of sliding his legs across the floor. The reason this is possible is because there is no friction on his feet. So let's make it more realistic for Billy and activate proper realistic friction. So with our new friction, I restarted the simulation and went to get some dinner, and when I came back, the simulation had gone for like 2000 generations, and Billy had learned a rather interesting way of walking. So apparently with higher friction, Billy figured out he would become a crab. Now this video is not about teaching a crab how to walk, but a stickman how to walk, so we need to make some changes here. The main reason he can walk like a crab is, well, because he can. His legs can bend really far, so I limited the maximum angle of which they can bend, so he is forced to stand up more and, and not become a crab, because it kinda sucks. So let's start the simulation again with these changes, and I also gave him some arms to make him look a bit less creepy and, and more human. As usual, he starts off by eating dirt, very nice. But around generation 40, Billy has some sort of walk going for him, which is exactly what we wanted. Now he just needs to work on making it better. He kept working and he would fall over most of the time, but no matter how many times he fell, no matter how many times he face planted, Billy got back up and Billy kept trying. And, and then he, he, he failed and ate more dirt, but you know, he tried. And finally, after 100 generations, he has learned how to walk without eating dirt. But it's still not really what I want, and after 200 generations, they're somewhat running, but only made it to 30 meters, so we still need to make some tweaks. After messing a bit with Billy's brain, he got back to training again, but this time, Billy is done playing games, he's going for that 50 meter mark. And after blood, sweat, tears and 500 generations of training, it was time for Billy to prove himself. And ladies and gentlemen, there it is. Billy managed to not only talk the talk, but also walk the walk. Quite literally, cause, cause you know, he walked the 50 meters, so he, he walked the walk. Yeah. Now this is good and all, but I think he can do much better, and I'm not quite happy with the results, so the day after, I made some minor changes, started another simulation, and then I went to get some lunch and hit the gym, and I totally forgot that the simulation was running. Before I show you the final result of Billy's training, do you want to know how Billy learned so fast? Well, he was listening to audiobooks, of course. You might not have noticed, but he was listening throughout the entire video. So I want to thank Audible for sponsoring this video, making both me and Billy much better. If you don't already know, Audible has the largest audiobook library in the entire planet. So if you head on over to audible.com slash dannydev or text dannydev to 500, 500 you get one free audiobook, you get two free Audible originals and a 30 day free trial. And it's completely free. I'm not supposed to give my personal opinion, but that's a pretty good price. Actually, I am supposed to give my personal opinion. That's, that's kind of the whole point. Currently, I'm listening to the audiobook, The Subtle Art of Not Giving a Fuck. And honestly, it's a really good listen. It really makes you question your values and what is actually important to you. And some of my favorite chapters are Don't Try and you are not special. It's, it's, it's kind of like a motivational book, but instead of motivating you, it kind of throws you in the mud, kicks you in the balls, and you're like, ah, oh, my balls. I'm so motivated right now. Yeah, it's pretty weird. If you don't understand what the hell I'm talking about right now, you should just go give it a listen yourself. You can do so completely free, no payments. Just go to audible.com slash dannydev or send dannydev to 500, 500 and start your free trial right now. And let me know in the comment section what you thought about. Also make sure to include the hashtag audible in the comment and I will personally heart your comment and give you a free cookie. 
Honestly, I never thought I would find myself listening to audiobooks, but it's actually a really good experience. So for example, when I'm editing a video, when I'm doing some programming, when I'm hitting the gym, when I'm going to sleep, you can listen anytime. And it's a really good way to do multitasking. If you're anything like me, I hate wasting time. So being able to learn something new while also working on something else is really great for me. What? But how can you listen while going to the gym? I'm glad you asked, Billy. One of the best features with Audible membership is that you can just download it on your phone. Right there. You can get any audiobook on it, you can listen anywhere. It's just like taking a real life book with you, but you don't actually have to read with your eyes because that's so 50 years ago. But wait, it gets better. Even if you cancel the membership, you get to keep all of your audiobooks forever. Yeah. So go to audible.com slash dannydev or text dannydev to 500, 500 to get started today. J just click the link in the description. Okay, just, just click it. Did you click it? Good. So let's check in on Billy and see how he is doing. So um, I started the simulation this morning. I totally forgot it was running and uh, came back like 10 hours later and the result is pretty damn crazy. So you can see 10,000 generations and uh, well, that was, that was a bit of a bad example. <laughs> so there's the result of 10,000 generations and a lot of training. It's probably as good as Billy is going to get and I'm quite happy with the result. He's probably running faster than I am, so I'm not complaining. Good job, Billy. If you liked the video, then make sure to smash like and subscribe. And if you didn't, then smash dislike. But let's be real here, boys. How can you not like this video? I mean, come on, it's made by me. Also, massive thanks to my Patreon supporters. You guys are all great. I like you very much. And um, yeah, I think that's gonna be it. As always, make sure to drink your milk and hit your sack. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna go now. Hey, Doa.